Hello and welcome to the second episode of An English Guy Watching Wrestling. I'm the English Guy, <laughs> Nick Best. Uh, thank you so much for checking out the video. And if you did watch the first video which I posted earlier today, thank you very much for that. And as I said in the first video, we're going to be reviewing wrestling shows, uh, particular promotions, uh, companies. But it's going to be no negativity, that's not what this is about. So if you enjoyed the first video, it's on the channel, feel free to go check it out. They explain basically what this is all about. So, the three promotions to set down companies I'm going to cover are Ring of Honor, AEW, AEW, Ring of Honor, and Impact Wrestling, that was it. <laughs> Forgot myself there. But anyway, this is the second video I'm doing as I said, and I'm going to be re reviewing Ring of Honor episodes from television from the 15th of January. Now, before we get to the video, I just want to say to Ring of Honor, if they ever see this, or anybody who works for Ring of Honor, well done on doing what you're doing for making sure the wrestlers are fine and make sure the shows are still going ahead because obviously Ring of Honor, the biggest independent promotion. Well, I, say, I don't think even, I'm not sure they call them independent promotion anymore, but one of the biggest wrestling companies in the United States and the world. Again, doing what they have to do to keep the talent safe. No fans of the shows, of course, but they're still going on. So let's get into the review for this week. Two matches this week as the Two very good matches. The first match was Rep Titus versus Flip Gordon in a pure rules match. Now, if you don't know what pure rules are, not too long ago, Ring of Honor brought back the pure wrestling championship. Now, it's basically, as it sounds, pure wrestling. Rules are, you're allowed three rope breaks a match. If you use all three and the person that has used all three is in the submission and they get to the ropes, the referee doesn't have to call for rope break. The referee can keep the submission going for as long as he likes. If you use a closed fist, it's a warning. If you use it twice, you get disqualified. Now, I think Ring of Honor changed it, the rules a little bit from the first time they had the Pure Wrestling Championship, because I remember it back then. But basically, <clears throat> it's for pure wrestling purists, so to speak. And this was a very good pure wrestling match. And <clears throat> Flip Gordon... Who, you, who everyone knows by now is called Flip Gordon for a bigger reason, but he can wrestle too. And whilst he didn't really show as much in this match I've seen him do before, he's always reliable, and Rhett Titus is also reliable. This was a very good pure wrestling match, and the way they worked it <clears throat> towards the very end was great. During the match, Rhett Titus used one road break, Flip used all three. Now, he used the third one not too long before the end of the match. There was a 15-minute time limit, which will explain that. So, <clears throat> both men put a very, very good wrestling match here. After Flip Gordon used his third red break, he had, was running out of time and did the first closed fist of the whole match to Red Titus, then got in with the Flip Five. And I thought this was a great ending to the match. It's one I did not see coming. <clears throat> and... Very good uh, manoeuvre by the heel persona of Flip Gordon. If, even if you love or hate Flip, you can't help but say he's not really reliable and just great. I've always liked Flip Gordon when he was a face, always a heel was the mercenary, always reliable. And Rhett Titus has put on a great performance in this match. Too. For those who have seen Rhett Titus before know he's a great wrestler. And he proved it in this match. Part of the foundation, of course. I really enjoyed this match. I've always been, I've always had a soft spot for the pure wrestling title, and I was so pleased to see it come back to Ring of Honor. And this was a great match, and I think the right person went over here because Rex Titus, great guy, great wrestler, but he lost, and it was the right way to do it. And with that right, right hand, it was this kind of old school thinking of how the pure title used to be when I used to see it. Definitely nostalgia vibes, shall we say. But I really enjoyed this match, and this was a good performance from both wrestlers. So definitely a really good pure wrestling rules match, even though it's not how it ended. Well, it ended, ended with the flip five, of course, but the right hand, <coughs> such a heel thing to do in a pure rules match. But again, it's good to see it back, and hopefully we'll see more pure rules in the future. Very good match, though. Enjoy it. Main event was... A title match, it was for the Ring of Honor World Television Championship. Dragon Lee defending the belt against one third of the Ring of Honor six man tag team champions, Ray Horse. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, Ray Horse is one of my favorite luchadors. I think he's awesome. 
no other way to say it. And I've seen him wrestle so many times. Met him, seen him live, wrestle, seen him wrestle live many times. Say it right. <laughs> um, and he's great. And Dragon Lee is a phenomenal athlete too. He is excellent. And <clears throat> when you put two luchadors in a match for the main event, you're going to get gold. This was fantastic. Now, it wasn't necessarily an all-out lucha, lucha Libre match, which is fine. I've got nothing against that. But both men just really put out a lot of amazing moves here. Ray Horace and his Spanish fly is perhaps the, one of the best in wrestling. And he was on fire in this match. He did some moves I've never seen him do before. I thought he was just stunning to watch in a match. Dragon Lee, even though he's a heel, he's such a good heel. But he's such a great wrestler too. And I thought this match was just going to be great. Whilst it wasn't necessarily a Lucha Libre all-out match like you see before, like you see sometimes, <clears throat> this matchup was just still a cracking main event. And Dragon Lee winning was the right call to do because you don't see many double champions at Ring of Honor. But this was a very, very, very good match. And I think the way the match went was the right call because whilst it is two luchadors, two mass wrestlers, you're not seeing that kind of match as you'd expect from two luchadors. It was hard hitting, some really good high impact moves, some good wrestling as well. But this was a matchup worth watching. And I knew <clears throat> this was going to be a great match. Not the match I was expecting in terms of uh, the way they wrestled each other in terms of the action. But again, if it works, don't knock it. And this works superbly. Cracking main event. And that's it for the review, really. A good overall episode of Ring of Honor Television. And as I said, well done to ROH for keeping them all in line for the pandemic. Making sure they're safe in the Ring of Honor bubble, I think. At the time of recording this, some of them are still up because I follow them on Instagram and on Twitter and I'm pretty sure some of them are still in it. So, you know, stay safe in the bubble when you get to the Ring of Honor tapings or whatever show you're doing next. Stay safe and of course, do what you love to do. I can imagine a lot of the wrestlers are sort of kind of frustrated or bored right now because they can't wrestle. But the ones who can are very lucky, so stay safe. All right, that's it for the review. Another one later today will be Impact Wrestling, but that's it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not going to ask you to leave a like, or you want to leave a comment inside the episode. I said, I'm not doing this for likes or comments. I'm doing it for fun. Because I said, I'm, I said before in the last video, doing it all off my own back, webcam, right here. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you very much for watching again. Take care.